What's up, Motors? I'm back with another video. <sighs> sorry, guys, I have hiccups, but um, I'm doing. Sorry. Um, so I'm doing the video. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make the banner, the Creator Code banner, like re. Most of you guys probably know um, his banner. It's very, very. A lot of people use him, use it. Um, they just put different codes. I, I'm pretty sure it's very useful for a lot of people. Um, and um, and I just wanted to teach you guys not only because it's useful and people because but also because someone requested it in my last video um i mean in my last tutorial someone requested if i could do it so um, i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make it um and also um i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make it on pixlr because um i was gonna teach you guys how to make it on photoshop but it's possible on pixlr and since most people um have more access to pixlr because it's free and photoshop is not um, I'll be teaching you guys how to make it on Pixlr. It's actually pretty easy. So let's get straight into it. Um, so first, you guys want to go to Pixlr. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and if you guys and if you guys just want to type it in a new tab, it's Pixlr.com/x/. And then you guys want to go to Create New. The size 1920 by 1080 is already good as long as the the banner fits. Oh, and before I start with this, I forgot to tell you guys, you guys want to go to, first you guys want to go to Canva, and you guys want to go to Create Design, I'll put the link in the description to Canva as well, go to Custom Size, and like my tutorials before, it's just going to be the banner size, 1500 by 500, so, and then you guys just want to have the background white, and you guys might not be able to save it because yes it says your design is empty if you guys don't have that problem then just go ahead and download it but if you guys do you guys can just go to text go to um any text delete whatever it says and just put a dot good put no effect take off the italics and take off the bold and just make it as small as you want where it's not as visible just put it like in the cor corner or something and there you guys go and now you'll be able to download it that's very weird but it works so just if you guys have that problem you guys can just do that so here you guys have your banner go ahead and um go ahead and go back to pixlr and you guys just want to go oh you guys actually up here on your top options you guys want to go to pixlr e and then just go to create new the same steps but you guys have to be on pixlr e and 1920 by 1080 is already good as long as the banner fits as i said before and go to create you guys want to go to your plus sign right here go to image right here and then just go to um, wherever you saved their banner so I'm gonna go ahead and open it and there you guys go and now um, you guys just want to um, put it wherever you want and then for in in reach banner this is like a little shadow effect or it has like a little black in the background so you just want to click on your banner up here on your top options you guys want to go to filter and then go ahead and go down to outer glow and it should do that little effect. You guys want to turn the feather all the way down. I mean, all the way up, my bad. And the size, you guys can just mess with whatever size. But you guys want to turn the color black. And there it should do that little effect. Like Reet has it, I'm pretty sure. You guys can turn the opacity down however you guys want it. I'm just going to leave it about there. I think it's good. I'm going to turn the opacity down a little more. And I think that is good. So that is good for me. And now for the for the for the focus Fortnite skinhead, you guys just want to open a new tab. Just type in, don't mind my Google um, background. Just type in focus skin. Oh, sorry guys, I don't know how to spell. Focus skin PNG, and it'll pop up. Just put whatever which one you want. Um, I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna save it just save it to wherever you want just save it it should have a transparent background if it um if it if it's like this and it should have a transparent background and then just go you guys want to open a new tab actually and you guys want to go to pixlr once again you guys want to go to pixlr e again go to create new um the size once again is good if it's 1920 by 1080 and then just go to the same thing as i said before go to the plus sign and then image and then wherever you set, wherever you saved your focus skin, um, you guys just wanna um, open it. So I saved mine right here on camera roll, and just make it bigger, however big you want. And then on your side options, you guys wanna go to the lasso tool. I mean lasso select or lasso tool. And then right here on your top options, you guys wanna go to polygon. 
and then on on there you guys just want to start cutting it out so this is going to be a time lapse or i will just cut the clip and i'll get to you guys once i'm done cutting it out but you guys just want to cut it out like this and um as i said this is either going to be a time lapse or a cutout so let it start all right guys so i am done cutting it out so now on your side options once again you guys want to go to the scissors and sorry that i said let's start that was kind of weird um kind of um awkward but you guys want to go on your side option go to the the scissors to say cut out mask and then you guys want to go to draw mask go right here on the number where right next to the the brush and everything and then you guys want to turn the size all the way up it doesn't really matter just erase everything hold on i made a mistake guys um before you guys do that before you guys go to the scissors and everything you guys want to go to edit go to cut and it should cut out whatever you um you cut out with your lasso tool on your polygon and then you guys want to erase everything and until it's a transparent background and then you guys want to go to edit once again and go to paste and there you guys go you guys should paste it should paste the head or whatever you cut out and now you guys want to make it however big you want and then just go to file and save and then just download and it should save and now you um you guys should have it downloaded by now and then you guys want to go back to your other tab where the pixel is and then you guys want to go once again to the to the image i mean to the plus sign and then image and then wherever you saved it you guys just want to open it so i saved it on my downloads so there it is and i'm gonna make it a little smaller and there you guys go that's it for the banner and now i'm gonna add the text so you guys just want to go on your side options where the t is just go yes you do want to add a new text layer and just erase whatever it says on your font i still haven't added mine but i'm going to add my local font the font is going to be luckiest guy you guys just have to um you guys just have to, i'll put the link in the description you guys just have to go to download a link and then um it should download in the bottom and then you guys just want to click on the download go to extract to and then um, just save it wherever you want. I'm gonna save mine in desktop, and I should have mine right there. And then once you guys are back on Pixar, you guys wanna go to add local font right here, add local font. And then wherever you saved your font, I saved mine in desktop, so it's right here. And then just open, and font was added. So now, luckiest guy right there, and <laughs> luckiest guy. Okay, so I'm gonna edit it. And now you guys are just gonna type creator code or whatever you guys are gonna type in but i'm gonna do this for the example um so it is what the color white so i'm gonna change it to black and now i'm gonna put the size a little up till it fits in good and then i'm just gonna move it make the size a little bigger it's a little too big i think that's good so 165 is very good I mean not very good but it's good and now you guys just want to duplicate that if you guys just want to make it easier and you guys don't want to add a new text and everything you guys can just duplicate it up here right here on the top option go to duplicate and then just go to edit and delete that and write whatever your code is I'm just gonna put your code for the example so your code is right there and now I'm just gonna make it a little bigger than the creator code so I think that is good maybe a little too big but um, you know, it's good. That's a little too big. So I think that is good now. Yes, this is good now. So 215 or a little higher. Let me turn it up. 230 is actually really good. Okay, so 230, 250. I mean, I think this was 165 and then your code is 230. So now you guys want to go to the to fill right here. So click on that and then you guys don't want to go on color, but you guys want to go to gradient. And now I believe his color goes from light blue to dark blue. So you guys just want to click on um, on the left side and then click on the color and then choose whatever light blue you guys want. Or you guys don't even have to choose the same colors. I'm just going to choose these colors because that's the colors Reet uses. So, um, so light blue on this side and then, oh, I'm um, sorry guys, I messed this up. And now black on the right, I mean, it's going to be darker blue on um the right side so i'm just gonna fix this and there you guys go um you guys have it right there and now for the ad right here you guys can just duplicate it once again 
just move it go to edit delete whatever it says put the hashtag and then add i believe this one is just a solid color and i think it's just light blue around there yes that's a good color and now you guys just want to rotate it on the circle right here on the side on the top option and it's like this i'm pretty sure yes it is like that i think so i'm sorry guys i should have done more research before doing this video but um that's basically it guys um i hope this really helped you guys i know this can be a lot uh, very useful for a lot of you guys so i wanted to do this tutorial and as i said before not only because for that reason but also because i got it requested and thank you for the request i actually didn't think of this but now that um you requested it it was actually a really good idea and i really hope this helped you guys and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace